hey, it's going to be a great day. And now let's take a look at some tools you probably don't normally use in Adobe Illustrator. This is part two. It's some of the overlooked tools in Adobe Illustrator. Last time in part one, we covered the width tool. And today we are going to look at the scatter brush. Okay, I have a scatter brush on a layer that I've already had hidden. And now let's look for the scatter brush in the tool palette, brush tool, not there. We go up here, see if it's in the list. Yes, it's there, but it's grayed out. Can't select it. So how am I gonna to get to open brush library? Not there. Uh, let's see, let me just select this. And now open the brush palette. Still not there. We create a new brush and now we see the scatter brush. And I've been kidding with you the whole time. The only way you can create a scatter brush or access a scatter brush is you always have to create a new brush. Now I'm going to apply this scatter brush to this path here. And as you can see, you have the same options that you would when you create any brush, a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to rename this birds, click OK. And now you can see birds is in the brush tool palette, which it wasn't before. So I'm going to select a path, click birds, and there we have birds. Now I'm creating a scatter brush of a scatter brush. Normally you only need one symbol to do this, but I'm just showing you that you can do it in different ways. I have different options here. I can choose under size. So I am going to choose random. And you can select the minimal size that you want it to be. So I will choose 54% and maximum at 81. I move this out the way so you can see. Oh, and make sure you have preview check so you can see what's happening live. Random again. 46 for a minimum. And let's try 62. That's and let me choose random again for the scatter. Minus 500, and that's a little bit too much. Want it closer to the path, but you can see how I can push it farther from the path. Okay, now you can see that there's a lot more going on, just at minus 133%. Uh, let me choose the maximum. Uh, turn to 13, and it's closer to the path. It's almost in a circular fashion. Now let's take a look at the colorization options. None keeps the colors from the brush panel. Tints changes black areas to the current stroke color. Tints and shade changes colors in the brush stroke to tints of the current stroke color. U shift changes the current stroke color to the key color and other colors to hue colors. You can select the key color that you want. Now you can use this icon here to call up a visualization of what I just described because a scatter brush can be made from a path, a compound path, a type character, or a type outline. It doesn't have to be a one color symbol as I've used here. And also the scatter, art, and pattern brushes all depend on the current stroke color and the colorization method of the brush. Now I'm going to apply the U shift to the stroke and you can see that it has variations of the orange. And go back and the key color was already green so that's why I shifted it to orange. Now tints, apply the stroke and now you see tints of the orange. Let me remove the brush stroke because we are finished with the scatter brush. Yes we're definitely finished with the scatter brush so we're going to move on next time to the art brush. So thank you for stopping by. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm always interested in your comments. And also remember, just create.